Whoa! What on earth is that? I would have given you all of my girth, but I know it would have ripped you apart. And she wants just all that I have. But if you won't, I will try to go again. I will try to go again, but I know my guff is the deepest. Baby, I know my guff is the deepest. Cause when it comes to being guffy, I'm cursed. But when it comes to loving me, she's worse. <laughs> yo, 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 everybody, it's Gold Tooth. Welcome to Gold Tooth Gaming. Did I fool you? Did you think I was? Retroed UK. You know what I'm saying? So, Retroed did an Instagram post and they were like, everybody who got his t shirts on, different countries all over. So I thought, you know what? Retroed's gonna come out. He's gonna come out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Big up Retroed. Love you, brother. You are a quality geezer. For real. So, yeah, this is a CEX sort of special. Xbox games I've picked up over the last couple of days, whatever. So we're talking CX at Lincoln, CX at Huddersfield. And I've got to say, these are really good finds. Some absolute beauties in them that I've been wanting and I've just never come across. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll show you a few cheat ones first. We'll ease in and we'll get into some of the beasts. So yeah, let's do it. So... Don't get your hopes up with this one. NBA Live, 06. Uh, 2005, sorry. 06. Woo! Yeah, 2005. 2005 is alive. Samurai, Warriors. And yeah, that looks all right. A warrior will unite the country. Will he really? Oh, yes. Think he probably could do. Looks all right, that. Now we've got LMA Manager. That is 2005. And yeah, I've got three of these LMA managers. So I've got 2005, six, seven, I think. Or is it four, five? Oh, I've got four, five, six. Yeah, 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 four, five, six. I need uh, O2. So yeah, happy to pick that one up. Gets that one out of the way. Now we've got one where, yeah, kind of looks all right. I've just never seen it. It's only a cheat one. And that is Robots. Not 100% sure, but what were they a film called, Robots? Mm, I think it maybe could have been. And yeah, happy with that one. Now this one I bought for GameCube, near enough on release. Because when I first saw it, it reminded me like a bit like Soccer Brawl. I thought, oh, I hope it's like Soccer Brawl. And I can't even remember what it's like. But yeah, it's not mega cheap, that. Sega Soccer Slam. So yeah, I'll probably have to give that one a go just to refresh myself. Whether or not it's on GameCube or that one. But yeah, Sega Soccer Slam. Oh, we've got a sealed one. <laughs> Are you ready? Move. NBA Live 06. Oh dear. I wish it was something absolutely fruity that was sealed, but yeah. Not today. Now we've got one where I've never seen, so I didn't realise it fetched such a high price. Don't know why. And that is Future Armour. And yeah, never seen any of these, uh, is it a cartoon or TV series or whatever? Never seen it. Kind of looks all right. I'm guessing it must be from guys at Simpsons because his top lip is absolutely ridiculous. Looks like he's uh, been to Tarquin sort of like fucking beauty fucking sessions and had some lip filler in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, future armour. Now we've got one where... Is it small? Is it angry? Call of Chihuahua. <laughs> Fucking Call of Chihuahua. I'm not even saying what his real name is. Fuck knows. But yeah, experience a horror of HP Lovecraft like never before. In the most chilling survival horror game ever. It's saying ever. I probably doubt it, but it does look all right. So yeah, we're getting a little bit more pricey, a little bit more sort of like wanted. 
Now, don't ask me why I thought I got this game. 100% I would have put money and I got it. And I'm not sure if it's because I've got other Marvel games or something like SNK, I can't even remember. But yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So yeah, absolutely buzzing to pick that one up. So when I saw it in store, I thought, do you know what? I'm on eBay, just see how much it roughly goes for. Fucking hell, CEX at cheapest buy, fucking far. On a lot of these games, to be fair. Which you can expect, but... Yeah, now this one. As soon as I saw it, I went, ching -chi ching ching here comes the guff stepper, murderer, I'm the lyrical gangster, murderer. And that is bloody raw. Oof. Sounds like Baz's bum all after a fucking night out at pool party. Bloody raw. Unleash the girth within. Yeah, that does look good. That's done by Hudson. So yeah, buzzing that one. Absolutely buzzing. Right. Now. Oof, oof, oof. Four missing two games, but I'm not. So we've got The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I've played this on Xbox. Um... But yeah, my copy was American. American don't cut it. So yeah, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Done by Capcom. And I'm a massive Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Not to the point when I'm wearing rucksack and little figures and fucking black ripped tights with fucking Jack Skeleton on and all that shit. But yeah, I do proper love Tim Burton stuff. And The Nightmare Before Christmas does it for me. You might have seen before, I've got some uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Pop some big ones, small ones, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got Girth Unleashed. Oh, Girth is there. Extremely. Yeah. Wrath Unleashed. Be warned. And yeah, that one kind of looks all right. I've never seen that one before. Done by Lucas Arts. Oh, yes. Now, the two that have been absolutely gagging. And I mean, gagging to purchase. And I picked one of these up, near enough when I first started collecting for it, about just over a year ago. And yeah, I bought it, took it home, tried it, the disc was beyond scratched. Tried to clean it, yeah, wouldn't work. But these are absolutely minty. A lot of these games that I've picked up, apparently one guy brought in an absolute stack of Xbox originals at uh, CX at Lincoln. And yeah, it must have been a collector because we're absolutely bang on condition. And that is Otage 2 Immortal Warriors. See, I picked that one up, and like I say, box were nice, instructions were nice, just discs were fucked. So I'm glad to pick that one up, and that is absolutely minty. So you see X for me, I always tell them to check discs. For show me, there's any little marks on them, we're in fruit cleaner, you know? So yeah, always good for me. Now this one I've been after, I maybe could have purchased it if I asked somebody if I'd want to sell it, but when I found out, I had no instructions. So yeah, that is Otage, Myth of Demons. And yeah, absolutely fucking stonking pickups. Some fucking big numbers that I needed. You know? And yeah, it ain't stopping here, people, because already I've got some more crackers to show you on the next one. So, until then, get your votes in on GirthTuber of the Month. It has been absolutely beyond slack. And I don't know if you know, but 16 bits and bobs. <laughs> Ali Ali did a live stream the other day and he showed what I'd sent him for winning. So yeah, if you want to kind of know what you're going to get if you win, you can always watch beginner of stream because it's straight away. Um, and yeah, the other thing that he got, you won't get, it's because it will personalise for him, where whoever wins this one, it'll be more personalised for them, but one item will definitely be the same. So yeah, everybody, keep safe, keep sexy. Retro UK. Peace.